Elizabeth Taylor, the unofficial queen of Hollywood, two times Oscar winner and star of over 40 films, including Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She was the first actress to bag a million dollars for one movie. Her public relations director. It was a sarcastic comment set out of a bathtub that ended up making her the highest paid actor in the world. In this program, we reveal the toughness that helped her survive the Hollywood system, kick her bad habits, become a savvy businesswoman, and transform herself into an AIDS activist. She would sit on patients' beds, treat them with respect and dignity, and they were floored. There are many stories about Elizabeth and her jewelry, but probably my favorite one that she retold and cackled with laughter is shortly after receiving the Taylor Burton diamond, she was at a dinner. And there were a lot of people there, including Princess Margaret. And everyone was passing around this giant ice cube of a diamond um, and trying it on and looking at it and cooing and eyeing over it. And Princess Margaret looked at it and said, it's perfectly vulgar. And Elizabeth said, you know, you're right. Would you like to try it on? And so she slid it onto uh, the princess's finger and Princess Margaret began to look at her hand and look at the ring on her hand and Elizabeth leaned over and whispered into her ear, it's not so vulgar now, is it? I think she began to appreciate being treated like a regular person. Probably one of the appeals of Larry Fortensky was that he was a regular person. True to her promise, she spent the last 20 years of her life committed to the AIDS cause. Echoing Princess Diana's secret visits away from the press, Joseph Panetta helped arrange unannounced visits to hospices. She would sit on patients' beds and read to them. She would sign anything they asked her to sign. She would treat them with respect and dignity, and they were floored and we would get faxes in the office from the management of the hospice sharing with us that the patients needed less pain medication for days after Elizabeth's visit because they were working off the halo of her having been there. 